In this lesson, we're going to see how adding just a little bit of HTML and CSS is going to work towards making our pages smarter with Ajax. For those of you following along with the exercises, I'm looking at Ajax slash chapter 04 slash 02 slash script.html. And given that we already have our static HTML and CSS files, I'm only going to have to add one small thing to the HTML. And I'm going to do that at line 14, just above the body tag. All I want to do is add a new div with an ID of preview win. And that's just going to be our little preview window that shows up that you saw in the last lesson. And then our end div, and then put a space in there so that there is something inside the div because otherwise some browsers have problems with it. And that's all we need to add to the HTML. Save that. Then we go into our CSS file, and in our CSS file, we need to actually add the style rules that will handle that preview window. Thankfully, that's pretty straightforward. Because we created preview window with an ID of preview win, that's all we have to modify here. Preview win, begin and end braces. We're going to give it a background color, as you saw, of kind of a pale yellow, so it looks kind of sticky note-like. In this case, we want it to have a width of 150 pixels, let's say a height of 200 pixels. It needs to be a font. We want it to be like a little tiny font because it's just a little tiny preview. So let's make it 60% of an M. Arial Helvetica. Oh, when any other sans serif. Needs to be some padding so that it's not right up against stuff. It needs to be positioned absolutely so that we can tell it exactly where we want to be. Because it's where it pops up differs based on, for instance, which link we went over. We're not doing a separate little window for every possible link. We're just doing one that will move to different places. And because of that, we need to position this div absolutely. Now we also want to make it visibility hidden. We don't want this to show up until we tell it to show up. We're going to give it a tiny border of a darker color to set it off. And finally, we're going to tell it to say overflow hidden. There's going to be a lot more text being read in from each of these pages than we actually want to display. So anything that doesn't fit in that tiny page, we're not going to worry about it. Just hide it. And finally, to work around some possible problems, we're going to set the H1 and the H2s inside our preview window. To be another font size. because otherwise they would end up being their normal heading size and that would take up the entire preview window. So we're going to force them to be a little bit smaller. And because we've done the H1 and the H2 after preview win, that will not affect our normal H1 and H2 on the web page. It will only affect the H1 and H2s inside preview win. So now we save this and go back to our HTML page and we go to preview it in the browser. And you'll see that right now, really nothing has changed. It's still a static web page. Nothing interesting has happened yet because we haven't added any Ajax. We'll do that in our next lesson.